In this lesson, we'll develop our scene even further by adding our lighting. All right, so now that we've applied materials and we've really defined the environment and setting for this particular scene, let's start focusing our attention to getting the lighting into this place. So in order to get lighting placed into here, we're going to have to first place a ceiling. So I'm going to jump to my ceiling plan here, level two. And the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure our overlay is, is uh, clicked. Um, by doing so, we'll be able to see exactly what's going on down below our ceiling once we have it in place. If we didn't have level two set to our underlay, which is here in our properties browser, then we just see all white and we wouldn't see what's going on down below the ceiling and we would just basically be randomly placing lights. Again, as I develop the scene, I have an intent and a goal in mind. So by setting this underlay, I can illuminate the areas that need to be illuminated and I'll still be consistent with the intent that I have for the scene. So let's start by placing our ceiling. Um, but really quickly, we'll jump to 3D view and I'm going to show you a couple of things. So for my design, I wanted to have my structural elements here exposed, which means I really don't want to have a drop ceiling because if I do have a drop ceiling, it's going to drop down below and possibly hang down below this bottom flange, which does two things. It covers up the structure and the elements I want exposed in my design. And two, um, it's really going to limit us on our headroom. I mean, we already have a limited amount of headroom below each flange. So, so to stay true to my design and also maintain a nice headroom, we're going to make sure our ceiling, one, is really thin, and it's going to hug right below this, this roof here. And it's going to look as if we really don't have a ceiling in place. It's going to give the illusion of maybe a floor is just above without the drop ceiling. So to do this, I found a little trick to get this done. So we'll jump to second floor plan and or second ceiling plan, and we're going to click on ceiling in our architecture tab. And we're simply going to sketch in a ceiling at this point. And we're going to follow the same pattern we did. And we're going to have the same concept in mind when doing this as we did when we were approaching the floor. We're only going to populate this area within our scene with geometry. And we're going to keep it really simple. That way we can cut down on our rendering time quite a bit. Revit won't have to think about as much geometry when it's trying to render this out for us. So you can see I placed my floor here or ceiling is in place and now we can go to our drop down here and we can select our ceiling type so as I mentioned I don't want a drop ceiling so we're not going to go with the two foot by two foot ACT here or the two foot by four foot those will potentially have to hang quite a bit below our structural members and might cover up some of that element so I'm gonna go with this GWB on metal stud and what that is is gypsum uh, board that's your basic gyp board nailed against a metal stud and I'm going to click the green check mark to, to complete that task, but we're going to edit this type. And here's where the trick comes. So I'm going to go in here, and you can see what this uh, ceiling is composed of. It's composed of a roughly three and a half inch stud, metal stud, and a piece of gyp board, gypsum wall board. That's the GWB uh, that's actually nailed to that stud. So I'm just going to adjust this dimension so that this ceiling hugs up as close to that top flange as I can get it exposing my structural members. So I'm going to change this three and a half inches to maybe an inch. I think that would be good enough for our purposes here. So I'm going to click OK. I'll click Apply and OK. And we need to make one more adjustment to our ceiling. So you'll see here in our properties window, we've got eight feet. That is our height offset. We need to adjust that to where this ceiling is actually hugged really close to that top flange of that beam. So I know that my floor to floor height is 10 feet. And I know that these generic floors that I modeled into this model are you know, about, a, about a foot deep. So that lets me know my ceiling needs to be at an offset of 9 feet. So I'll change this 8 feet to 9 feet really quick. And we'll jump to that 3D view really quick, and I'll show you what we just did. So you could still see our top flange here, and it's almost as if we didn't make that change. Um, it almost looks just how it did before we placed our ceiling here. That's exactly what I wanted. So now that we have our ceiling in place, if I wanted to, I can adjust the color, but I, I like this dark gray color. Now we can place our lighting fixtures. So now we can jump back to ceiling plan, level two. And now that our underlay is set to level two, we can now design our lighting. And again, we're not going to randomly place lights throughout our scene. We're going to do this with some intent. 
Um, I know what areas I want to illuminate and I know the effect that I'm trying to achieve. So really quick, we'll go to component here and we're not going to lay down this floor lamp just yet. Since we're on the ceiling plan, we'll lay down all the lights that are going to be hanging from our ceiling. So I'm going to go to this drop down and we're going to look for some pendulum lights that I loaded just a little bit earlier. And we're going to go with this 48 inch option. And for my design, I'm going to have these, li uh, these lights laid out in clusters of three. So for instance, this area here where we have our planter and some interior uh, vegetation, we're going to have a cluster of three lights. Above this area here, our reading and lounge area, we'll have another cluster of three lights. Same thing for our stairs and this area, lounge area in the corner. So let's lay out our first set. So I'm going to simply click and place. Easy as pie. So now I can click on that element and I'm going to rotate it to get it in the position that works with what I have in mind here. Perfect. So now I can just control C, control V that light, copy it over, and I'm going to place my first one. We'll do the same thing for the third within that cluster. And now I can work on getting these spaced out evenly to get a nice even lighting distribution. So it looks like I have more space on this side than this side. So we'll just take this lamp, scoot it over just a bit. And now I want to make sure all my midpoints are lined up so that these are lined up nice and even. Because we're doing a, a really sharp, clean perspective, and this is a really uh, minimal design, I having lights that are laid out crooked can really, really, really take away from what you're trying to communicate within this visual. So it's really important to make sure your lights are lined up nicely if that's your design intent. So I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to use my align button to achieve this. So I'm going to click on the midpoint for that one. I want to make sure this midpoint aligns with that. And I'm going to keep that process going. I'll select this midpoint and I'll make sure this midpoint is aligned. That way, all three within my cluster are, for the most part, evenly distributed, evenly distributed and lined up. So now I can select all three of those lights. I'll hold down my control button, and we'll control C and control V and place these accordingly. So again, I mentioned we definitely want to illuminate our staircase here. We don't want anybody falling over stairs falling downstairs and then I'll control V one more time we'll light up our lounge area here in the corner and then we'll also light up uh, right here just above this reading area so I'll control V that as well again I'm gonna try my best to make sure these are lined up nicely perfect so now I have my three main areas illuminated it works well with my design so let's jump to 3D view and let's see how this looks so far and see if there's any additional adjustments we can do to really improve the quality of this look. So, so far, so good. But one adjustment I do see we need, do need to make, um, again, we're trying to preserve as much headroom as we can, and we definitely don't want to cover up these structural elements. We want to have those exposed. So I'm going to simply click on any one of the, my lights. And once you click on it, right click, we're going to select all instances. And we're going to edit its type. And all I'm going to do is change the depth for in which it's hanging from the ceiling. Now, we could duplicate this if we wanted to preserve the light that we already have in place. But in my case, I really don't want to preserve that. I just want to make this change right here in this field. So drop from ceiling right now, set the two feet. Let's change that to 10 inches. That way, we're not hanging below our structural members. So I'll select apply and OK. And you can see those lights have automatically been updated. So we can add a couple more lights. Let's add um, a floor lamp and a couple of table lamps. So I'm going to jump to floor plan level two. And we'll really quickly get these lights placed in here. So let's see if we can not hunt down some table lamps for our end tables here for our two lounge areas. So we'll go to architecture component. And let's load a family. And we're going to load some lighting. So I'm going to click on my lighting folder, architectural. And we have two options, external or internal. So we're doing an internal scene. So we'll go with internal. And we are looking for hemisphere table lamp, if they have one in here. And they should. Perfect. I'll click open. And we can now place these. But before we begin placing, I want to make sure my offset is set correctly. Now, when I chose these end tables, I chose so because I knew that the height was going to match what's going on with the furniture that's in there. And that height is one foot six inches. So I need to adjust the offset for this lamp to one foot 
six inches. That way, it's when I place it in my model, it's going to be resting directly on top of our end tables. So do the same thing here, there, and in our other lounge area here. And one last set of lights I'd like to place are going to be some little accent lights here. Uh, I'm going to provide a nice effect against this orange uh, concrete block wall that we have here surrounding our elevator shaft. So I think I have this one already loaded. So we'll go component and we'll go to the drop down. And this is just going to be a floor lamp. And when you're placing these floor lamps, you want to make sure you're on a floor plan and not the ceiling plan by accident because you can only place a floor lamp on the floor and a ceiling lamp on a ceiling. So make sure you're on the right plan level. And we'll look for this floor lamp. Perfect. Found it. So we'll go with this uh, 60 watt lamp here and we're going to place two of them. One on each side of this planter. So now that I've placed my lighting, table lamps, floor lamps, uh, anything hanging from the ceiling, let's jump to this 3D view and see how our progress is and see if there's any additional adjustments we might need to make. So I can see right now I can make a small adjustment to the positioning or the perspective here because I want to be able to see this lamp. Right now it's hidden behind this column. So I'm simply going to make sure I'm selected inside my view here and I'm going to hold down shift and my wheel and use my mouse to rotate just a bit to a more desirable position here. Because I definitely want to be able to see the little touches of lighting scattered throughout the scene. Perfect. I, I like what we have so far. I can let's move this bottom part up just a little bit. I don't want to render too much of this floor if I don't need to. It's not really important to what I'm trying to communicate in this visual here. So I think we're at a really good place now where we can start uh, experimenting with our render settings to create this uh, scene to be much more realistic. So I'll see you in the next lesson.